Okay, so now that you've entered the task or tasks in your project plan, um, let's do some formatting. Let's format the configuration and training segments for each task by clicking on the gray area on the left side and holding down the control key so you can highlight more than one task at a time or subtask or sub sub tasks. Let's do that by holding down the control key and clicking on training. And uh, we'll do the rest by um, holding down the control key and clicking on configuration and training, configuration, configuration, and training. And after highlighting them, click on the indent key or the indent icon. And then we'll do the tasks. Um, hold down the control key, click on the tasks, and then indent them one more, one more time and then um, we'll do the summary task. Highlight that and then click on indent. Great, so now uh, we have a properly formatted and properly indented project management project plan. The next thing we'll do is to enter the duration for the tasks. Let's start with admission, discharge, and transfer. This, ha this has two parts, configuration and training, and according to your exercise, the configuration segment will take 30 days. So enter 30 days, and the training will take 5 days. Next one on the list is patient registration. Configuration will take 3 days. Training is 5 days. Next is Enterprise Master Patient Index, and the configuration for that will take three days. And the last one for the section is Patient Scheduling, and configuration will f for that will take ten days. And training will take five days. Okay. The next step in the process is to enter the predecessors. Remember that training comes after configuration, so let's do the training segments first. For admission discharge and transfer training segment, the predecessor for that is configuration, which has a task ID of number 4. So let's go ahead and enter 4 for training predecessor. Let me move this forward here. Okay. There you go. And then for patient registration training, the predecessor for that is its configuration segment, which is task ID number seven. And then for patient scheduling training, the predecessor for that is its configuration segment, which is task ID number 12. Okay. Okay, so um, let's continue with, the pr with uh, entering the predecessors. Um, let's start with admission, discharge, and transfer. The predecessor for that according to the exercise, according to the rapid analysis exercise, is patient registration and as we know the, the last segment of that task that will be performed is the training segment of patient registration so what we'll enter here is the task ID for that segment which is task ID number 8 so let's go ahead and enter 8 and then going down the list patient registration the predecessor for that task is Enterprise Master Patient. And the ID for that task is number 10. So let's go ahead and enter 10 in this box right here. 
And then going down the list is the Enterprise Patient Index. That task doesn't have a predecessor, so we'll leave that alone. And then for Patient Scheduling, the uh, predecessor for that task is Patient Registration. So uh, the last segment for that task is Patient Registration Training, task ID number 8. Go ahead and uh, enter task ID number 8 in this box. Great. So now that we've entered the predecessors for each task or task seg segment, let's look at the Gantt chart to on the right side of, uh, of your project plan. You see that it's pretty jumbled here. It's not very organized. And uh, if you look at the start column, the dates are all over the place. So the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll get it organized by chronologically ordering the tasks by date. And we can do that by um, right-clicking on the Start menu, go down to Sort By, and then the first drop-down box, click on that, and then we'll look for Start, okay? Uh, scroll down until you get to Start, select Start, and click on Sort. Good. As you can see, our tasks are now organized chronologically by start date. Now your tasks are chronologically ordered according to the start date for each task or subtask. You will also see that under the duration heading, which is the project duration, you will see the total number of days. According to our project plan, it'll take 46 days to accomplish all of these tasks. You also notice that the finish, the project finish date is going to be April 17th, 2008. That is, if you started your project on February 14th, 2008. The next step we'll do is to The next and final step that we'll do is to change the view of the Gantt chart to a uh, critical path. And if you remember, um, you can do that by clicking on either the Gantt chart wizard icon on the toolbar or by going to Format and clicking on the Gantt chart wizard. From here, you'll click on Next. Select Critical Path, click on Next, Next again, Next, and then the, for, the Format button right here, and then we'll exit the wizard. Great. So now we have the Critical Path here, but you can't see it. And so the next thing we'll do is double-click the gray area here, And it'll automatic automatically bring you to the Timescale dialog box. On the middle Tier tab, the Units drop-down box. Click on the drop-down arrow and select Years. Go to the bottom Tier box, select that. And then on the left side, on the Units drop-down box, click on the arrow and select Months. Click OK to close it. And it'll change the view of the Gantt chart por portion of your project plan. So you can see all the tasks and all of the uh, summary tasks that you've entered for this project. The take home lesson for this presentation is how to create the Electronic Health Records project plan using Microsoft Project 2007.